Okay, so now we're going to open up our slicing software. I print with an Elegoo Mars, so the software I'm using is Chudubox. Uh, you can use this or use whatever software is relevant to your printer. So we're going to open up the file we just saved from Blender. And as you can see, it's not rotated properly for the build plane, so you're going to click on it, rotate, and I just click plus 90 on the z-axis. And then that should, yep, everything's fit. So we're going to go to support, and these are all my support settings over here. Um, this is, I've tried a lot of different support settings, and these are the ones that i found work best. Um, so we're going to use all heavies for this, except for in the number islands. I use light supports on those. And so to start with, we're going to put one heavy on the center, and then we're going to go down the edge, and we're only going to put a few. I When I first started printing dice, um, I was following like the only tutorial on supports I could find. And that was to make a wall of light supports along each edge. And that worked really well, but it's very time consuming. Or it was for me anyways. I'm not very fast at placing supports. Um, so I started playing around with them and this was the easiest, most efficient way I found I messed up somewhere. And as you can see, um, as I'm placing these, they're not straight. I don't worry about it as I'm placing them, but after I have all of my supports placed, I go back through and edit them. Um, so you're going to click edit, and then I just, that's not what I meant to do. I hate that you can't move the screen when it's in edit mode. Okay, so back to edit, you're going to click on this part and not do that. <sighs> it's only giving me issues because I'm trying to film this video. I don't make these perfectly straight, um, just kind of straight. It makes it easier to clip them off after. And I've tried supports without the sphere contact point and um i mean they work but when you go to clip them off i found that they chip pieces out of the dice and the spheres don't because when you cut these off you cut them right here above the sphere and then you sand down the rest of it so it was a little a little bit easier on cleanup and didn't cause damage to my masters. It took us a lot of playing around to figure out how to print these properly. It's actually part of the reason why I'm making this video because when we were trying to learn how to place supports for these, we couldn't find any dice specific support videos so we kind of, we had to figure it out ourselves, and it, it was rough. We had a hard time. Um, so I'm going to speed up through the rest of these dice 
just to just so you don't have to watch me place all these supports. Um, and then I'm gonna come back in and show you how I do the numbers. Alright, so now that I have all the supports placed, we're going to come back in. Let me go back. I don't know why. Alright, we're going to come back in and put supports on the numbers. So, let me start over here. What did I just do? Alright, we'll start over here. So you only want to place supports where there are islands and as you can see Chidu Box recommends places to have supports but those aren't always correct. So if you want to see if you have an island, this little drag bar over here um, it shows you by layers. So let's look on the one. Right there on that point you see how it's not connected to anything. As it's building up, that's an island and you need a support right there. So we're going to put one on the corner. Probably stick one right here too, just to be safe. And then we'll stick one on top. And this is the, I'm using the updated version of Chidu Box right now and Supposedly, the auto supports are supposed to be better, but I haven't tested them yet. And I know that the way I'm doing them now works, so I'm just going to stick with what, I'm, with what I've been doing. Uh, and you're just going to do the same, same thing with each, each dice. I'll speed through this part too, just so you don't have to watch me place all these supports. Alright, so now that you have all the supports placed, you're going to go back over to the Options tab. And I am printing with um, Soraya Tech's Smoky Black Resin. I think it's the fast kind. So we're going to slice that. You'll save it to your flash drive and then you'll plug it into your printer and print it. 